most people confuse a crash with an adjustment period. Most people, they will feel some symptoms and they'll be super tired for a couple of days and immediately they're going to go, oh man, I, I'm crashing. That's it. This, this is bad. I'm going backwards. Not good. I screwed up. What do I do now? And they go into this almost like crisis mode. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Miguel here from CFS Recovery. Today's video is going to be talking about the difference between an adjustment and a crash. Now, it can be very tricky and a bit confusing to understand the difference between the two because they feel very similar, but at the same time, there's actually several differences that will allow you to differentiate between the two. Now, it's very scary because in both, you are feeling symptoms, you are having lower energy, feeling more pain uh, potentially, and you do feel like you're going backwards, but there are three main differentiators. And that's what we're going to be diving into today. And so for me, having suffered with something like chronic fatigue and chronic pain for several years, it's scary anytime you have symptoms. Now, the idea is that you want to have more adjustment periods than crashes. Now, in the beginning, you know, if you're just starting to have these symptoms, or you, you know, you're in the early stages of your illness, then chances are you're going to probably have a lot of crashes because it's almost like a trial and error period where you're not really sure what you can do. You're not really sure what puts you over the edge. So in the beginning, it, it's very hard to differentiate. But if you're watching this video right now and you're watching this kind of content on YouTube, anything really about how to get out of this illness, then chances are you've probably been dealing with this problem for a while. So you have experienced several crashes before. This is not something that's completely new to you. You have somewhat of an idea of what makes you worse and you know what makes symptoms go away. Or maybe you're just constantly stuck in that negative cycle of you're constantly crashing, constantly worrying and being stuck in that chronic pain loop. And so today we are going to dive right into it. Now, right off the bat, most people confuse a crash with an adjustment period. Most people, they will feel some symptoms and they'll be super tired for a couple of days and immediately they're going to go, oh man, I, I'm crashing. That's it. This, this is bad. I'm going backwards. Not good. I screwed up. What do I do now? And they go into this almost like crisis mode. Now, when you are feeling symptoms, anytime you are feeling symptoms and you have these flare ups, you want to maintain your composure. That's so important. But there are some minor differences with a crash and adjustment period. So I just want to preface before we get into it that you want to avoid crashes as much as you can, but adjustment periods are okay. They're actually expected. Adjustment periods are on the way to recovery and they're not something that's completely bad and they're not something that's horrible and that should be avoided at all costs. You will have adjustment periods. Now, just to get right into it, for me, I couldn't tell the difference between the two, so I would always get extremely stressed out, and that would cause a flare-up in symptoms as well, because any kind of stress, as you've seen on my channel, if you watch my other videos, stress is what leads to the symptom flare-ups. So let's dive right in here. The difference between an adjustment period and a crash, like I said, there's three things. The first thing we're going to focus on is the quantity of symptoms. The second thing is going to be intensity of symptoms, and the third thing is going to be the duration of symptoms. So going back to quantity of symptoms in an adjustment period, there's going to be a lower number of symptoms. So yes, you will feel symptoms, but you know, there won't be as many of them as if you're in a crash, right? Instead of having, you know, 20 or 30 potential symptoms when you're in a crash state in adjustment periods, there's, you know, only a handful and you could actually tell the difference if it's manageable. That's the biggest difference. Adjustment periods are manageable. Crashes are not manageable. They're very tough to manage. And so in terms of quantity of symptoms, lower number of symptoms in adjustment periods, in a crash, there is a higher number of symptoms. So pretty basic there. Now, the I think the biggest telltale sign to differentiate between which state you're in is the intensity of symptoms. Now, intensity of symptoms, if you're on a three to five level of symptoms, if they're manageable, you are in an adjustment period. If you're in a crash, you are at about a seven to 10 level of symptoms. They're very intense. There's lots of pain. There's lots of fatigue, lots of symptoms. Now, I'm just going to take a while to say that you probably know the difference between an adjustment period and a crash because in an adjustment period, you know, you're able to still move around a little bit. You're able to still kind of get through the day. 
okay. You know, you're not completely stuck in complete suffering. Whereas in a crash, you know, that's when things are very, very intense. Like you have, maybe you have migraines, maybe you have burning sensations all over your body, palpitations every time you move and all of those combined. If you just have a few of those things, then you're probably in an adjustment period. But if you have all of those things stacked on top of each other and you're, you're just feeling very intense to the point where you don't even want to move, you don't want to get up, you don't want to do anything that's that's you're probably in a crash and it's going to take a little bit of time for you to get out of that. Um, in terms of duration of symptoms, they're going to be shorter for an adjustment period. They're going to be a few days to a few weeks and in a crash, they're going to be longer. So three plus months and uh, they're going to be, you know, very, very intense. So with this, what we got to understand is sometimes you can have a mix of these. Maybe you have a high number of symptoms, but, they're pretty low level. Um, they're not as intense. They're more manageable and, you know, they're shorter. Well, that just shows that, okay, you're probably in adjustment period. I think the biggest thing with a lot of people here is th really the intensity of symptoms because that is, is what affects us the most is the intensity, how much pain, how much fatigue are we feeling? So, you know, if, if we're having a high number of symptoms and, you know, it lasts, you know, somewhat of a long time, but the symptoms are manageable, you know, that probably means you're in an adjustment period. And so for the most part, you know, what we teach in recovery jumpstart is you want to have really good periods of time where you're not in a crash and you're not in an adjustment period. And there's other times where you do want to be in an adjustment period. So that way your body can start to heal itself and your nervous system can recalibrate. You don't want to be in an adjustment period all the time because you never allow your body to breathe. You don't give it the room to recover. And that's something that we dive deep into in Recovery Jumpstart. We get a lot more detailed, you know, this is kind of just an overview, but you wanna go back and forth between an adjustment period and, you know, feeling a lot less symptoms and feeling more normal. So that means, you know, taking your foot off the gas pedal, pulling back a little bit when you need to and letting your body adjust and then from time to time, you know, increasing your activity. So you're actually stimulating an adjustment period to come up. But again, you want a lower number of symptoms. You want a three to five level of symptoms. Um, you want it to be manageable. That's the biggest thing. And you want it to, you know, last shorter. You don't really want to be in this period for, for long because you're just not able to enjoy life and you're just dealing with tons of symptoms all the time. So these are really the three differentiators between an adjustment period and a crash, right? The thing is, when a lot of people feel symptoms, going back to what we talked about earlier, most people confuse a crash with an adjustment period. They'll feel like, oh, they feel symptoms for a day or two or maybe a week. All of a sudden, they're in a crash and they feel like they've gone back to square one and they're backwards. And then mentally and emotionally, they start stressing out and worrying and uh, digging themselves into this mental hole. So then they get stuck in this this loop of chronic pain and, and fatigue and all those things. Because as you feel the physical symptoms, if you react to them with more mental and emotional stress, that's just going to feed the physical symptoms. And then you're going to feel more symptoms. Then you're going to feel more stress. Then you're going to feel more symptoms. So people get confused with the crash and adjustment period. What you want to do is when symptoms do come up, immediately you want to understand like, okay, I'm probably in an adjustment period. I probably did a little too much. But if you're in a crash, then a lot of times you'll know exactly what that feels like. A, a crash can be pretty bad. Now, this isn't representative of absolutely everybody, right? Everybody has their own experiences with this, but this is kind of kind of the overall picture of what it's like when you do start to recover. When you are in the hole, when you're almost like starting from ground zero and you you know, your body's crashing every single day. Um, things don't make sense. Sometimes you'll crash for like three hours and then feel okay at nighttime. But in the long run, in the big picture, as you start to move around more, as you start to get more energy and pain, these things will come. The symptoms will come, but just understand when you're in adjustment period versus when you're in a crash, because even just your perception, even just your perception of these two names will make a difference in how your body responds to, to those periods, those states that you're in. I mean, if you immediately think about it like a crash, then of course, you're going to stress out a lot more. You're going to start to feel sorry for yourself. You're going to start to feel like, you know, you failed. You have to start off at square one. So another thing I tell everybody that I work with or even in Recovery Jumpstart is when these symptoms come up, do not think of them as crashes. Think of them as adjustment periods because that's 
probably going to be what they are. Um, we're monitoring, you know, people's activity, monitoring their mindset and recovery jumpstart, making sure they're not going down the wrong path and that they're on the right track. And so immediately, if you feel symptoms, do not say that, oh, you had a crash or do not say that I'm in a crash. Do not say that a crash is coming. It's an adjustment period. And we have to reframe our mindset around that because a crash is, is probably the worst thing you can have. You don't want to have a crash because that just throws the body off balance and the nervous system. Of course, you will have crashes. They're impossible to avoid, especially in the beginning. But as you get better, you want to understand the difference between these two because that's going to really make a difference in how you respond to these symptoms. And so if you want to learn more about these kind of concepts, we dive deep into this kind of stuff in Recovery Jumpstart. We go on weekly calls so that we can give you specific advice to your specific situation. If you wanted to learn more about Recovery Jumpstart and you wanted to apply and see if you're a good fit to get in, we do it by an application basis then click the link down below where it will take you to a page where you can apply. It'll tell you all about the program. It'll give you more information and you could see if it's a good fit for you. But other than that, continue to watch the content on this channel, continue to apply it in this video specifically, really understand the difference between the two periods, the adjustment period and the crash. So if you enjoyed this content, if you got some value out of it, make sure to smash that like button, throw a comment down below. And remember, you are a thriver. You are just one mind shift away from living a life with thriving health. I'll see you guys in the next video.